everybody. In this video we're going to be using a two-part polyurea mix. Part A, part B from Styrocorp. It's a brushable plastic. And what we're going to do is mix equal, equal amounts of A and B. One's a white milky liquid, one's a clear uh, more viable liquid. All we're going to do is pour both of those into our container. I'll just use a paintbrush to get the thick stuff that's caught inside. As you can see, we have already put a few coats on it. This is going to be the final coat before we finish it in a fake bronze finish. There's one. Take our mixer. Before we, before we apply the plastic over the foam, we prime the foam, the foam first. I'm going to mix it for about a minute or so. Set that aside to drip dry. Okay, and all we're going to use is just a normal paintbrush and pretty much apply it as if it were, were another type of paint. It's a real thick, milky substance, but pretty much as applies the same as paint. Okay, I'm going to get the final coat on it, and then in the next video we'll show you how we're going to full finish it to have a bronze finish. Hello everybody. Today at Foamworks we are going to be working on the central cobbler guy. I'm giving it a faux finish to resemble a bronze sculpture. 
Now, remember on the last video, I showed you how I applied the plastic coating over primed foam. Now today, what I'm going to be doing is applying it all with a 1-2-3 primer. That's an in interior, exterior um, Zinzer product. Um, it's a nice bright white and we've already got the cobbler guy painted up two coats of primer and the shoehorn box and what we've got here is some gold that's just an ace metallic gold finish um, we've got a flat black Valspar paint and then we have a uh, Oh, uh, what kind of green is this? It's just kind of a olive type colored green. Kind of give give it that tainted, aged look. So first we started with the the bullseye primer after we plastic coated it. Then we're going to paint it all in a flat black, as you can see that is. Then we're going to take some of the gold and just do some spot painting on it rub it in with a just a simple towel or you can use a paintbrush you can kind of see there how it, it's kind of a mixed and sporadic paint job and then after that dries we'll tint it with just a little bit of the green to give it that aged look And then we'll have the customer come take a look at it and see if they approve the colors. The next video we'll be doing will be mounting that to an oak board for uh, stability and we may be putting a glass case around it. We haven't, haven't got the okay on that project yet. But. We'll have this painted up by the end of the day. Hello everybody. Tonight we are putting a gold finish over the black painted cobbler guy. You can see we got the shoehorn started. We're just getting ready to do the detail and starting on the head. Mr. Cobbler. Basically what we're doing is just taking some of the gold paint just lightly dabbing it. Get some of the material on. Leaving some of the black showing. 